How much does YouTube pay for the first month with 1,000 subscribers? How much is my very first Google AdSense paycheck? I'm gonna show you everything from my very first month of being monetized, which is actually half a month. So I'll show you the next proper month. You'll get a proper month and I'm gonna show you absolutely everything. We're gonna go into my YouTube Studio dashboard and just go through all the analytics, AdSense payments, the views that I was getting per day and the revenue that I was picking up. I think I've got a big problem and I'll be going through that with you later on in the video. Hello, I'm Neil Mossy and I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you. Look, here's a picture of me. I think I'm gonna have to stop there. So let's see how much the big red blob is paying me now I've hit a thousand subscribers. Actually, as you can see there, I'm currently on 2,169 subscribers. It took two years to get to a thousand subscribers. It then took me four months to do another thousand subscribers. So if you haven't hit a thousand subscribers yet, please stick with it. When things do go up, they do tend to go up exponentially, uh, which is a mathematical term for fast. So let's go to the month of March. Mount March, as I like to call it. Look at that peak. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened to cause that. I used to watch these videos just to give me some idea of what kind of money would be coming in once the monetization happened on YouTube. But I had one video that blew up and the, the peak of it was just before I got monetized. But as you can see, I picked up 338 subscribers and that is what put me over the 1000 subscriber barrier. And I, I used to watch these videos to compare how much I might be getting. In this month, I picked up $56. I could not be happier. But what I used to do when I was watching these 1000 subscriber monetization videos was that I tried to work out how much I would be getting right now on my views. So I'll let you take in this information. If I look at the whole year, you can see what happened just around March time. This one video blew up. So my views went crazy and haven't returned, <laughs> which is one of the problems of my channel that I'm going to talk to you about. You might be able to avoid my mistakes. The watch time mirrors the views and the subscribers 1400 for the year to date. My revenue so far is looking like $769. I only uploaded six videos that month, but I have a big problem and my big problem is niche. My videos that got me to here were all experiments to see which would get more views. And the videos that get more views are the videos that are more interesting. My top video is a video that was only on there as a showreel. It was an example of my work and it was a very long interview with Jean-Claude Van Damme and I'm very grateful that the video picked up 88,000 views but the problem is this I'm not going to be making videos with Jean-Claude Van Damme again <laughs> and that video was made 20 years ago it's not representative of the videos that I enjoy making on YouTube now so the big problem I've got is that the videos I'm making now are not getting 88,000 views and if YouTube serves my channel to the 88,000 people who've seen Jean-Claude Van Damme they're not gonna find anything more interesting on my YouTube channel than that. I've kind of peaked. In a way, I've jumped the shark. <laughs> so if you are jealous of someone having a video that's doing well, don't be jealous at all because that one video leads viewers into a cul-de-sac. I don't know why I've gone all French or Belgian on this, Jean-Claude. A good performing video brings its own problems. Subscribers are expecting more of the same and I haven't got more of those videos. The videos I have got are even more problematic, even though they're doing really well. So down here, I've got how to get a pack code, which is a very UK specific problem of moving cell phone providers. I've got another showreel video that I made that I put up years ago, just as proof of my work. And then the rest of the videos that are doing well are things like how to change a streamer line. These videos are doing really well right now in the summer and it's a real headache because I don't want to be Garden Tools Guy. I'm not Garden Tools Guy. This was just an experiment and it's just an attempt to help people on YouTube because I've benefited from lots of how-to videos and I like making them, but I do not want to be Garden Tools Guy. What do you think? Leave a comment. Do you have this problem with your channel where you've 
tried lots of things and they're getting the watch time up, but they're not the kind of things you want to pursue for your YouTube channel. Let's go a little bit more into detail with the revenue because I know that's why you're here. So you can see zero, 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 zero. Oh, the first day I was monetized. I think the message came through at about 10 o'clock at night and I earned 14 cents. <laughs> and then the next day, I've never seen a day like this since, but I got $7.27, which I'm incredibly grateful for. And then it started to dip and I thought, oh, okay, so I'll be earning $2 a day then. <laughs> it was enough to get me over the $50 threshold for Google AdSense. This is the, the email I got from AdSense. And you probably know this already, but the way it works is the estimated revenue that you are shown on your dashboard is pretty much the figure that you are paid for that month. And by the way, I made a whole video about the monetization process. It's on screen now and there's a link above and there's a link in the description below. And that video walks you through exactly how long it takes to become monetized once you have hit the 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers. It actually took me just under a week for the monetization to be confirmed and that's when my video started making money. I'm going to show you all of April, but let's just dig in for a moment to these analytics. Wow. 1 million impressions, <laughs> which is a 500% increase. My click-through rate was really good that month, 4.6%, and the views from those impressions were 109,000 views. 91,000 of those are unique viewers, but YouTube Analytics uh, shows it in a really clear graphical way on this tab. So there were 1 million impressions. That means pretty much I'll let them explain it. Impressions are how many times your video thumbnails are shown to viewers, but YouTube showed my thumbnails one million times. And the number of people who clicked on those thumbnails was 4.6%. So that's a 4.6 click-through rate, which led to 48,000 views. It was a really long video that blew up, but my average view duration was four minutes. It was over four minutes. It's not like that now, but that's a good thing because I can't rely on that one video. That one video just leads to disappointment with the rest of my channel. So again, if you are comparing this to your channel unfavorably, don't because I've got big problems right now niching down so that someone who comes to my channel will watch more than one video. These are interesting. The traffic source is mainly from Google search. The engagement in March, this is how much watch time. Average view duration for that month is three minutes. On the audience tab, I had 91,000 unique viewers of all the viewers on my channel. Each viewer watched 1.2 times. That's quite an interesting metric because that shows how many other videos your viewers went on to watch on your channel. Uh, subscriber growth on the very top day, the day I was monetized, I think, 45 new subscribers. It's gone right down since then. It's near about five to 10 subscribers a day, much more than I had before I was monetized. I was getting about one subscriber a day and I was thinking it was gonna take me three years to hit the 1000 subscriber mark. And then on the revenue, the estimated revenue, they call it estimated, I think just to give them a bit of wriggle room, RPM is a new metric, which is revenue per thousand. I don't know why they use the Latin word mille. I think YouTube has ideas above its station. But basically I get 52 cents for every thousand views. And a big percentage of my audience is from the UK and the UK does not pay very well on Google AdSense. So I'm hoping that my videos that I'm making now uh, appeal more to a global audience, specifically Hello United States, Canada and Australia, because you guys pay much more than the UK. And just for fun, I'm gonna, sc I'm gonna scroll along my videos so that you can see how much they contribute to the revenue. So that Jean-Claude Van Damme video paid me $5.16 on that one day. And this changes on later months. You'll see on later videos, I'll show you how much the other videos have grown in revenue and how Jean-Claude Van Damme has completely died away and doesn't really contribute that much revenue now. At the end of the month, I got $2 a day for Jean-Claude. The rest are bringing in 10 to 30 cents. And then my top earning videos in March. Is any of this helpful? Leave a comment below if you're still watching. Hello, uh, really good to have you here. Leave a comment if I'm missing out anything that you want to take a look at. My top earning videos for my first month were Jean-Claude Van Damme and then how to change mobile networks followed by 
the smart cup where, you, where I just open it, <laughs> take the lid apart and the weed puller and the strimmer line. And a little fast forward just so you can see what happened next. These are the monthly revenues that are paid out to me. I'm going to show you April now and you can see I've got $113 and then May $190, June, July $166 and August, well, I'm halfway through August, so it's looking a bit less this month, it's probably come out at about $140. The revenue sources, I mean, YouTube Premium is just a tiny, tiny fraction. It's, it's not really gone above a dollar each month. Let's compare that now with April. So I'm being paid for the full month, $113 on 96,000 views and I'm gonna jump between the views and the revenue. That's what the views looks like, and the revenue doesn't dip in the same way. I don't know if it's part of the algorithm matching ads to different videos and getting better at that, but you can see here that the views clearly dip from the beginning of the month to the end, but the revenue stays pretty consistent, and if anything, I seem to be being paid more at the end of the month. Let me skim through on, on the daily payments. So you, you can see I'm being paid, it says $5.65 there, and I'd love that to be my regular average right now. But in this month, it was more around the $4 per day mark. The watch time has gone down because it was five and a half thousand hours, but my goodness, you know, nearly 5,000 hours in one month. I'd have been so grateful for that if I needed the, the 4,000 hours watch time. And subscribers are still doing well, but obviously a lot less than the 330 subscribers. I'm getting 200 subscribers in a month. And that's when I'm sort of averaging about eight to 10 subscribers a day. The top videos are pretty much the same. Uh, so I have the, the two garden tool how-to tutorial videos, pretty much 5,000 views each. So that Jean-Claude Van Damme video that brought in 88,000 views, that has now dropped to 64. That little ride that I had was, was worth it and it was fun, but it, it pretty much tailed off. Let me show you the reach. I got 1 million impressions again for the month of April. This was my first full month being monetized on YouTube. The impressions, this, the click-through rate is still 4.5% and the views are sort of similar and the unique views are, are similar. But a 4.5% click-through rate is, is, is pretty good, I think. The Google search is accounting for 45% of my traffic in April. So the nearly half of my views are coming from Google search, which is probably a sign of all the how-to videos that I've got on my 10 year old channel. On the engagements, the average view duration is three minutes, but I really want to show you something on the audience tab. This is something that you might want to compare. My watch time from subscribers, and this is showing me my huge issue that I have with my channel that I'm gonna fix this month. My watch time from subscribers has gone up because it was something like 0.1%. It's now rocketed to 0.5%, which means that 99.5% of my traffic on my YouTube channel is from people who are not subscribed. That is a huge problem because they will come watch the video and never come back. That will tell the algorithm that I'm not a very sticky channel. I'm making some big changes at the moment where I make the subjects of my videos more consistent. And so I'm gonna be making more videos like this on the topic of how do you get ideas out of your head and into YouTube videos. That's what I do, that's my job. I wanna share information like this to help you grow your channel and get more watch time and to get you through the 1000 subscriber mark. The other problem I face, shown pretty clearly over here, the top countries, the United Kingdom, good old blighty, 18%. It was deliberate. I wanted to make my channel feel very British. But the downside with that is that the UK AdSense revenues are not very good. <laughs> so yay for me for winning that audience. I have to work harder to get revenue. I'm abandoning that, even though I've started the Great British YouTubers podcast. So this was my first full month at 1,000 subscribers. So if you are looking up how much revenue does YouTube AdSense pay for 1,000 subscribers, in my first month, I got $113. It would be lovely to see your channel and see how you're getting on. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you're struggling with any particular aspects of trying to get the 1,000 subscribers 
hours or 4,000 hours watch time. My Google AdSense account existed before my YouTube channel was monetized. It was so frustrating. I earned 56 pounds, uh, but they pay out over amounts of 60 pounds. So I was like three pounds 20 short of getting paid. And that's been sitting in my account since 2018. So it's broken it down that my balance is £56.80 and I earned £45.84 that month. That was my first month in my local currency, which meant I was paid £102. I think it's about $120. The next month is a lot cleaner because all my money came from YouTube and these are how the payments work. So I earned £45 on YouTube in March. I'm paid on the 23rd of the next month and you can see it here. My very first automatic payment on the 23rd of April was £102 and then in April I earned £91 for my 1,000 subscribers. So my 96,000 views paid me $113, which is £91. So it's about a pound per thousand views. And that's pretty much how things are for me at the moment. Your RPM might be much better because your videos might appeal to people around the world in countries that have a higher RPM. But I wasn't paid the £91 in April. I was paid it in May. And up here you can see it was paid in on the 26th of May. Wow. We have been through a lot of figures. <laughs> what kind of views are you getting? And you know the deal. More than anyone knows how important it is to get a subscriber. So if you reach this point of the video, thank you so much for being awesome. And if you subscribe, I, you'll see my other videos about how much I was paid for other months. 